Hey guys, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys me making 100 DIY pins. This took me like so long to do, so I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Um, I made all sorts of different themes, so I'll show you them all at the end. But anyway, so first what I did was I drew out all the different pins, and I didn't quite have 100 in this um, section here yet because I had to still think of a couple more ideas, but um, this is what I had so far. So I sketched them all out, and then I outlined them with a black sharpie, um, just the fine tip ones, and then I erased them all so then there wasn't any weird lines to them, and then I started coloring. So I did color some of them with just regular pencil crayons, but um, I ended up deciding after that to use um, some, I tried some Sharpies, which I liked, but I didn't have all the colors for, so I went out and I got a big pack of just regular Crayola, like, washable markers, and that's kind of the issue um, the washable markers are, which I'll show you later on, but um, they might smudge a little bit, so that's just a little bit of a warning. Um, if you're making pins and you want to seal them, make sure just like some of them it worked out when it smudged but like some of it didn't so anyway so here I'm just yeah coloring different ones um, I have the actual video I'll have it linked down below of what I um, I was showing you guys how to make these DIY pins but then I this is my favorite method of making them out of all of it so I have three different ways and they're all without the shrink wrap paper whatever that paper is called um, because I couldn't find any where I lived so here I'm just erasing a few more um, I found a couple ideas from Pinterest I thought of a couple different ideas um, there was um, some that I just like some of my favorite characters um, some of my favorite vines different things like that um, I put all into these DIY pins so you guys can like personalize them to however you want um, but that's how I did mine uh, I found like I said like a lot on Pinterest um, there was like so many cool different designs so yeah also, another little thing, I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but I ended up doing um, a voiceover in it, and I was so frustrated because the voiceover was not working, it sounded muffled and stupid, and I just hated it, and I ended up fixing it, so um, I was so happy about that. Um, shout out to the YouTuber who actually showed me how to do that. Um, I know most of you guys probably aren't having issues with like mic problems, but I'm going to leave um, his video linked in the description box below, because it just made me so happy that I actually got to fix it. So, um, anyway, so I'm just here coloring some more but um, yeah I'm so glad the audio is actually working in this video and it's making me really happy so yeah um, also leave a comment down below um, what is your guys's like favorite like character like just in general because like I have to say like I like a lot of them so I couldn't really decide so that's why I did like a lot of different um, ones plus I had to make a hundred different pins so uh, yeah so here I'm just cutting out all the different pins and um, a little thing is try to make your pins a little bit bigger a little bit easier to color and cut and make sure that they don't have a lot of weird like designs and outlines in them because then it's like takes forever to cut everything and just like a big hassle so if it's like straight lines and really simple patterns it makes it your life like so much easier so um here yeah i'm just cutting a whole bunch of different things all the different pins um here i have a hundred pins so that's exciting so i started just cutting them all out and um yeah this took me forever but that's okay <laughs> Another thing is, just let me know, like, you know, if you want to in the comments, like, what is, like, your favorite videos I've done? Like, how did you find my channel? I'm very curious how people find my channel. Like, I know I can kind of find out, but, like, you don't know exactly how people find your channel. Like, you can see um, what, like, uh, videos are getting like a lot of views obviously and stuff like that and you can kind of tell that way and there's a few other ways but like I'm just like very curious how like people find my channel and stuff um so yeah just curious about that so here I'm starting the gluing process um I liked the ones with the glued back the best out of all both of the or I guess all the ideas um I had done before I just feel like they're a little bit sturdier they do take a lot longer to make but they're sturdier and they're just yeah, I think they turn out nicer looking anyways. So I'm just doing the gluing for all of them. And another thing is, is that, um, I'll show you in a bit, but I do end up um, reusing all the little scrap pieces. So it's not really even that much of a waste once you do cut out all the pieces. But make sure when you are doing this that you're really flattening it down because otherwise you get weird little like... Um, pieces that like lift up weird and stuff I'm doing this with my hands but you guys can't see it um but yeah like make sure you really flatten it because I've done that a couple times where it's just like it doesn't turn out very well so here yeah just keep flattening and gluing them all and um I have to say that this um 
I did this throughout like a couple different days because I got tired of like squeezing the um, the hot glue gun. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, just like pressing like the trigger the whole time. It was just like hurting my hands after a while. Plus I had to get like a new hot glue gun because my other one broke and that was really sad. So it was taking forever to heat up. So here I'm just peeling them all off and um, sorry it's out of focus there, but I'm just going to peel them all off. They peel off so nicely with parchment paper. Um, if you guys want another video by the way on um, how to do like DIY, more DIY pins. I've thought of a couple different other options besides my first video of them so if you guys want that uh, give this video a thumbs up because I will definitely do that. Um, so yeah they just like it peels off so nicely it makes me so happy so a couple of those things I didn't quite get all of it and so um, I had to like go back and glue a few more things but now I'm just cutting all the pieces make sure to save all those scraps because you'll need them for the other um, pins that you make so this pin here I colored with Sharpie and that's why it's orange crust so that's why I ended up switching over to some of the other types of um, like markers because then I could actually have like real colors but like I said they did kind of smudge a little bit so that made me a little sad one of the pins that I made was like a s'more and um, I ended up using like the washable markers on it and it like smudged actually really cool because it made it look like toasted like the marshmallows on it so that made me happy but like Minnie Mouse's face smudged a little bit when I did it so that kind of made me sad but um, yeah so here I'm just like keep cutting out more and more um, it's fine if you do get like some of the paper into the glue you just won't have like as clear of backings in your other pins if you do that so be careful of that if you don't want that um, I wasn't that careful of it and I kind of wish I would have been but that's okay <laughs> So these are all the pins that I still have to cut out here um, because I kind of did it in parts because like I said I was getting tired um, after cutting and everything like that so there's like the parts to cut out there's some I already did cut out those are the ones that I have to cut out from the glue and then these are the ones ready to go so I'm doing some more so here I'm taking the scraps and then I'm going to take an iron and flattening it and then this is nicer for like the bigger ones um, so then it's just yeah it's just a little bit nicer so you get a piece like this and then you put whatever um, whatever little picture you want it I ended up folding it in half again because it was too thin I ironed it out way too thin so you want to make sure that it's like nice and thick in the back but um, I like to do at the end I was like starting to just do a whole bunch in one so this was a little bit nicer when I had the scraps to do that so I could get like five or six on one little sheet of glue and it would just like save a whole bunch of time so that's what I'm just doing here and I liked to save like the smaller ones for this and then like I said a couple of the bigger ones were nice also for it but the small little ones were nice to um, do all at once look at how beautifully that peels off it just makes me so happy so anyways here I'm just going to cut uh, or I guess take them all off and then cut them and um, I like to cut them into like smaller pieces like this and I just feel like it makes it a little bit easier so then you can do the more detailed uh, cut after so another thing I am making currently a new junk journal um, while I'm filming this video and so if you guys want to I will film a video like a flip through video of that as well uh, so here I am just adding all the backings I added um, these were all backings that I got at Walmart uh, when I did my first video actually and um, I just yeah I got them at Walmart but now they don't have them there um, I'm sure you can get them off Amazon uh, some people don't have dollar stores but you can probably get them from there I found it cheapest just to get safety pins at you can even get like safety pins honestly like at a gas station which is kind of weird but like I've seen them there before so you can get them really anywhere any kind of backing you can get um, I have a couple more ideas for backings but I'm gonna save that for the next video that I film uh, if you guys want me to do that for a, another DIY pins and I'm just going to glue them on with some more hot glue and this is really nice because it really secures it because you're putting hot glue on top of hot glue and it just really like um, yeah makes it really secure so I would re really recommend the hot glue version because of that um, like I said more sturdy and it would just like sticks so much nicer something I forgot to film during well doing this um, I forgot to put uh, show you guys me like adding um, the Mod Podge onto the uh, each pin um, but I did do that after I added the backing so I could hold on to something while I was doing it and I felt like that worked a lot better this time because last time I did it before and it was just like really all over the place but um, this one worked better to do it like this way if that makes sense. <laughs> 
it was so funny because when I would come into my room, I just saw this whole little army of all these little pins and they were like sticking up. It was kind of cute. So I have all of these here. Those I saw to cut out because I was really getting tired of cutting at that point in time. And some of the backings I haven't put on yet because um, I need to still buy the smaller backing. So I have a jar of jam and avocado, this weird little honeycomb thing. Um, I have some marshmallow fluff. This is a gumball machine. Um, this is a little cupcake, and then I have a uh, jawbreaker. I have, um, what is that called? Cotton candy. Uh, Pepsi logo, that one smudged a little bit. I have a little salt shaker that says salty on it. That, I think, is a, I don't know what that other one was. There is a cupcake, a little cup of coffee. I think the other one was an ice cream. There's like a milkshake there. It's a Pop-Tart. Didn't turn out as well as I liked, but that's okay slice of pizza, there is um, gum, and then I'm like losing what it is, a burger, another Pop-Tart, some sweet tarts, um, this is all food related at this point here, um, these are uh, slushy, and then a little Willy Wonka bar, a donut, a Coca-Cola bottle logo thing, a fruit punch uh, pack, uh, sprinkles, and then we got a cinnamon roll, another donut, um, apparently I like the donuts, <laughs> and then I have a whole pizza, which I don't like the crust of, there is the s'more, which I like how that one turned out, I have a little lemon that's cut in half, a water bottle, um, another cupcake, and then that is it for that. I tried to section these off a little bit, but here is a lipstick and then lips, and then here I'm doing kind of office supplies slash crafts, so I have a CD, a pencil, uh, here's an envelope and a colored keyboard, which kind of looks weird, but that's okay. Uh, there's a note, um, like note paper. I have some paints in there, um, a hot glue gun I added to that, and I could have added a few more things, but I didn't think of it. This is my all-time favorite one, the Hugs Not Drugs from Deadpool. I have the medallion, uh, I have a minion, and um, a weird little emoji thing. Uh, and then I have, this is Flower Gloom and Glow from Tangled, Welcome to Good Burger from the movie Good Burger, which is like really funny. I have my Minnie Mouse that smudged a little bit, Wonder Woman, um, which I've never really watched, but anyways, Zabuma Fu, that was like one of like, I loved that show when I was little. I have a little Tinkerbell um, like movie ticket type look to it. This is, that act sketch is from... Um, Toy Story, and then that is a Little Mermaid reference piglet there, and then I have, um, what is that, Baymax, <laughs> just his little head, I have a little Barbie heart thing, it's kind of weird, the little chicken nugget kid from Vine, which I thought always was so funny, um, the other Vine with the road work ahead, I also really love that one, and then Team Pink from, um, what is it called? And then Team Blue from uh, Sleeping Beauty. And then is Butter a Carb from Mean Girls. A little Yoshi, what are they called? I can't remember. The Burn Book from Mean Girls. And then I have some animals over here. So I have Be Yourself and a Little Panda. Here I have a little deck of cards, which aren't all the same size, but that's okay. Like I said, I still have to get backings for some of them. I just wanted to get this video up for you guys, so there's that. And then I have a little alien guy. Um, these are all just really random now. I have a baseball uh, tent, and then I can't see what else there is. There's a little, what is it, rollerblade? Is that what they're called? A lightning bolt, a little cactus, and some mountains, which are kind of ugly, but that's okay. A hot air balloon. The lines are really off in that. And I have a snowflake, um, which, yeah, okay. And then I have a little alarm clock. And then this cute little one that says you are safe with me with a little safety pin. And then I have I need my space, and it's supposed to look like you're in outer, outer space, but like a coffee cup, but it didn't really work. A little mixer. I'm quite happy how that turned out. Pow one from like a comic book type look, a weird YouTube play but or YouTube one, and then I have um, an outlet, um, and then this little guy. Next I have a little fan, which I'm quite happy how that one turned out actually as well, and a key that's very ugly, so don't look at that. I have a you tried little star, which is kind of crooked, um, which I'm realizing now. This is a flashlight. It looks very shiny. Um, these 3D glasses, 
and then a little bottle of tacky glue, a little Canadian candle, which I don't know why, um, but it, there it is, you know, a little sign that says boring, little flag, I guess, a lava lamp, and then I have a mitten, a, um, and then I have also two little cars, um, which I really love how they, those ones turned out. They're so cute. And that is it for the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.